All right, welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. Got some puffer fish here, and I'm actually practicing a new technique that I learned. Um, shout out to the gentleman that showed me if you happen to see this video. But I'm actually going to just do a couple of them real quick. And I actually don't have a fork out yet, but what I'm doing here is cutting the heads just like that. And I'm cutting just through the backbone, just to where it snaps. You can see right there, I cut through the backbone there. So that's what I'm doing, just cutting just through. And I'm just going to show you how quick this new technique is that this gentleman showed me. Just through. So that's three. And we'll we'll do well actually we'll do five because you know this is OD5. So we'll do five. <laughs> Alright, so this is the fifth. Alright, and I want you to time me now. See how fast this goes. Alright. So I'm actually going to get a paper towel because Puffer fish have a lot of tact. I mean, they're like a sandpaper body. So just to give myself a little more grip. All right, fork. Just to scrape it down a little bit. And we're just going to stick into the meat like that. And now we're pulling. Just like that. All right, so that's one. All right, you're timing me right. Scrape, scrape. Two. And we're pulling. You see everything you don't want ends up over there. This is number three. Oop, get a little more of that flesh. All right, so that's three. We're gonna go one more. Go. To, we got two more left. You've probably seen my previous video, so you know if you have that this is a much faster technique. I got to get a little more leverage there on this one. All right, so that's four. All right, and last but not least, make sure we get in there nice and good. It's important to have a nice strong fork, but there you go. That's five puffer fish cleaned in probably less than a minute. Just so you get another angle of how this goes. So again, we're cutting across the head just until we get through the backbone. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. All I thought right. you were doing five because you're OD5. I don't have five more. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. We'll grab another fork because that fork actually wasn't that strong. I actually bent one of the tongs on it or whatever they're called. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Wifey's mouth is opening. She's gasping like, you did what? That was my grandmother's right. china. Silverware, I mean. All right, one. Two. And you can see all the goodies, everything that you don't want, pulls right away with this technique. Just scrape it down just so you can get in the flesh. And you're pulling. Whoop. Got to get more of the flesh there. There we go. That's it. That's nine puffer fish cleaned in at a record pace. All right, so as always, thank you for stopping through. Um, little puffer fish new technique that I'm bringing to you. Hopefully it benefits you for those of you that are puffer fish eaters. Um, again, these are northern puffer fish. They are safe to eat here in North Carolina. So if you are in an area outside the mid-Atlantic and you catch puffer fish, I would say check with your local game officials and make sure that they are good in your area because we're about to do these right here in North Carolina. This is Chris signing off. OD5 out, and I'm doing that because wifey's face is doing some things. She's making faces at me. Be kind to the fish.